A record breaking slur. Let's have it by people, yeah? Let's slurp together. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> and what, what exactly are they looking for as they slurp it? Uh, is there, what, what do they look for? What, what does it want to give for? So remember, you've done all the aroma up until now. We've done all the smelling now. It's about what happens in your mouth. You're trying to pick out acidity, bitterness, body, to name a few. Okay? So before you make any judgment, what I do ask is try each and every single cup first. Go back to the beginning and do that a few times. And then slowly, slowly, that difference from one cup to the other starts becoming more evident. Okay, so let's, let's do it. I don't hear this. Jim, I don't hear the slur. I don't hear the slur. Rich. There you go. Scott's got it. So, uh, loud slur. There you go. So, this is all foreplay. <laughs> Richie, Richie Zamora, some slurping, please. Some slurping, ask for please. And you, you don't have to drink it, you can just, uh, you can just, uh, let that out in the cup. So yeah, there it we, 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 so we I'm going to slurp. Exactly the same as a sommelier. I'm like a sommelier. Going exactly the sommelier. If you're sure. drinking, a, if you're cupping a hundred cups a day, okay. you don't want to be ingested. <laughs> mm. So let's talk okay. about the key attributes of coffee. First of all, which of the three cups is the most bitter for you? Which one is the most bitter? Indonesia. Indonesia. Yes, exactly. Have you seen that? Indonesia definitely has all those bitter notes. Very it's bitter. Nice to pick that up at the beginning of the slurp. Very, very bitter. Um, I like this. Carbonic ashy notes. Slurp. Uh, woodiness that you mentioned. What about acidity? Mm. The first? Is it Colombia? Yeah, that's a fantastic question. A lot of the time, when I first do this with people, uh, people who are, who are not used to doing it, I don't like the compounds. biggest compounds that are always consistent. Yeah? It's amazing how people, you know, people come and say, oh, I, uh, I had a coffee with such and such, I went to this and this coffee, and this coffee and is and that coffee is so bitter. Mm -hmm. yeah. bitter. The whole point of the third wave movement is to have really light roasted coffee, Kenyan, which is very acidic. So, yeah, to your point, bitterness and acidity is often very, very confused. Now, what is the difference? Well, a seed of lemons, it's that piquant, that, that yeah, um, like almost piquant effect that's happening on your tongue. It's that bright freshness. Oh, Argentina. Yeah, like when you put a, a lemon in your mouth, when you, when you, you bite the, 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 the skin of an orange or something, okay? as opposed to bitterness. Um, and bitterness is probably coming from, number one, the caffeine in the coffee, but also the roasted notes. So the darker you roast coffee, the more you develop the bitter notes. Mm. Okay, so lightly roasted coffee would be very, very acidic. Okay. Medium roasted coffee would tend to be sweeter, more caramely, and darker roasted coffee will be, um, be bitter. Why? Because that coffee bean that has become darkly roasted, okay, also whilst roasting will have given all those attributes. But when you get to a certain point where you then destroy some of the lighter, more characteristic notes, because that's the nature of the compound. So if you think of a, uh, you're baking something in the oven, and you just think of the colours that are going on in the oven when you're looking through the glass, right. you see that. The, the, the liquid dough first turns to a straw color. Yeah. Okay? Exactly the same thing that happens to coffee beans when roasted. They first turn to a straw color. And typically in beans, that's the moment that the moisture, the majority of the moisture in the coffee beans, which starts at approximately 12%, would have been drawn out of the coffee. And it starts to change color because then some of the key compounds, the carbohydrates and the sugars, are starting to break down. Okay? Then from that yellow note, it starts to turn um, brown, so the color that we're actually used to uh, appreciating coffee, the brown notes. Okay, and that's where the mock Italian roughly sits. And the brown notes with the coffee with the, with the sweeter um, compounds uh, are really showing their face. 
And it's at that stage also you start getting the Maynard reaction, which is where some of those sweeter compounds start to break down again and start to produce more, some more of the bitter compounds. What's happened to the previous compounds before that, they again have been transformed. So you're losing the acidity, you're losing the sweetness, because those compounds have now started to become some of the harsher or bitter ones. So you can't go back, it's too late. Okay? Question. Uh, I noticed the Colombian Arabica coffee beans was the lighter one, lighter okay. in color, so that's the one acidic, which is the more. Okay, so typically, Kenya is the more acidic of the three cups in front of you. Okay? Yeah. And again, depending on how they've been roasted, that could also sometimes impact and affect this. Yeah. But typically, your Colombia will be slightly uh, fruitier, stroke sweeter cup. Fruitier. And in Kenya, the more acidic cup, sometimes berry notes, and in Indonesia, slightly uh, darker. Yeah, it's um, darker. Yeah. So okay. when, it, when it leaves an aftertaste on your tongue, when it leaves an aftertaste, is that the bitter one? Okay, so, um, yes and no. So the, the linger, how much the coffee lingers, is also something that we measure. And sometimes the lingering can be associated to the body. Yeah, so sometimes if a coffee is rounder and has more body, it will linger better. But generally speaking, you're right, Adam, generally speaking, what you tend to uh, remember most are the lingering bitter notes. So, yeah, so, do you actually go through this whole process, Gennaro, when, when you get in back in London, the UK, do you actually go through this whole process where you're just there with a spoon and does the whole pack of coffee with a spoon? How, how do you, do you go through this whole process as well? Have you found it? Yeah, so in well? London, every single day, we will typically have the same number of cups that are in front of me today on the table. So we could have so origin one, two, three, four, five, bitter, four different origins on the table. Okay. And we're we'll going through and making sure that origin one has the right the notes, most origin two, origin three, and etc. Et et in this in manner as well, exactly. In exactly, what I've really showed you is exactly the process that we do back in the roast tree to, and uh, bitter, to check the color. I mean, it's 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 more bitter. Okay. So, unless we have any particular questions, I would like to move on to the espresso machine okay. because that's very similar to what we discussed, but actually now getting a bit closer 